This week's coaching topic is tackling. Stopping an attacking team from scoring makes tackling one of, if not the most important, skills in rugby. Since rugby is a high-impact collision sport, safe tackling skills that protect the tackler and the ball carrier are an essential component. It goes without saying that rugby players, when compared to American football players, are better all-round tacklers and suffer less injuries than tackling from their, than their American football playing colleagues. Rugby's tackling laws are also a huge help in the area of safety. To be an efficient, safe tackler, it all starts and ends with basic skills. The following footage will discuss how we break tackling down into parts and then implement the skill in a controlled live tackling drill. Our tackle sessions begin with four basic parts and end with the live drill. Tackle sessions are not just for beginner rugby players. All of our veteran rugby players will spend an amount of time on the basics and not just leap into full contact tackling. The first four parts place emphasis on tackle technique, which includes head placement, arm and shoulder positioning, and where not to tackle your opponent. These four parts that we drill are body positioning from the knees, and walking tackles and quarter speed jogging tackles. The live drill involves marking channels with three colored cones, placing identical channels on the right and left. The coach blows a whistle and gives the attacker a color, marking the channel for the player to run through. The defender reacts to the channel chosen and makes the tackle. At the end of the video, I will discuss coaching points. All right, guys, so we're ba in rugby, um, we have a basic positioning, a, a standing positioning, and it's very similar to wrestling. In rugby, we always want to have... You want to have strong footing, you want to be low, you want to be heads up. And, it, and it's, it, it takes us to tackling, and it takes us into rucking, and it takes us almost in everything we do in, in rugby is all from that type of position. So it's, it's one foot is forward, you're nice and low, you got your head up, elbows are always in, your arms are at this level, and you you got a strong base. And then you can switch feet, but you always got this type of position. Even when you're running and you're going into a tackle, you're, you're always trying to get into that same type of position. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to drop into positioning. I'll tell you position and then you guys just hit that position. All right? Good. Ready, 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 ready. Position. Good, good, good. Stand. Position. Good, good, good. Stand. Position. All right, good. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to do tackling off the knees, but we're going to teach you where you're supposed to put your arms, where your shoulders are supposed to go, and where your head's supposed to go. Everything in rugby is is a cheek-to-cheek -cheek type thing. So we're talking cheek, we're talking butt cheek and face cheek. So if I'm cheek-to-cheek, -cheek, I'm taking my cheek to his hip right here. So as I come in for a tackle, I'm coming in cheek-to-cheek, -cheek, my arms come across, and as my head's pressing against his hip, I'm pulling in with his legs like that to wrap. And then as I pull, I'm very quickly getting up to do what I have to do, depending on where the ball is. All right? So let's do that. All right, you're on. Let's go. Let's for the business. That's it. That's it. Try to get up to your feet as fast as possible after you make the tackle so we can... That's, it. That's exactly what's going to happen to the game. Good wrap. Remember, pull in with your arms, cheek to cheek. Good. All right, let's do it now. We're, we're, we're both standing, um, you know, like a walking tackle. And a, a coaching point here, too, is, uh, is that when you guys make that tackle and you're down cheek to cheek, you got to remember to release those arms. you got to pull those arms up and show the ref that your hands are free, and then you spring up, all right? So make that cheek to cheek tackle, pull in with the arms, release and then spring up for the ball. Okay, let's do it. Just stand up. Just drop it down. Little <laughs> chop your step. Get the tackle. Little chop your step. Go around and up. Red. Good. White. Good, nice, good, good work. Green. Nice. Remember, remember to spring those arms back up too, Felix. Orange. Yellow. 
Yellow. You gonna have a few to erase. All right, here are your coaching points from the drills. Always tell the players to keep their head up, never down. Forward flexed head can lead to severe neck injuries on impact. Impact on neck flexion can cause fractured cervical bones. Keep eyes looking up at the ball carrier. This will help keep your head in the upward correct position. Follow the movement of the ball carrier and get your feet close enough to make the tackle using the arms to wrap around the ball carrier waist level or below. Prepare your body for impact. Set yourself in a strong, stable, low positioning. Think of a wrestler stance, strong core, stable platform. Position your head behind or to one side of the ball carrier. Never position the head in front of the ball carrier. Cheek to cheek. Arms wrapped around player, driving forward with body, pulling in with arms at the same time. Re release the tackled player, get back to your feet immediately, and contest for possession. And those are your coaching points.